Good evening and welcome to the Sun TV. Recently, a flood took place at Trademore Estate, Lubi, and it has been a major occurrence in the city of Abuja. So right about now, we're on the streets of Abuja to find out from Nigerians what they think the federal government and the FCTA can actually do to prevent such occurrence. What do you think the FCTA and the federal government can do to prevent such occurrence? The problem is not only in uh, Trademore only. It's all over FCT and all over the country, the maintenance of erosion, flooding. So the federal government is, has already said a body, which is the uh, Office of the Ecology uh, under the presidency. They, they're supposed to report to that authority and see what they can do. It's all over. Maybe the minister can also come to the aid uh, since FCT is a, a national seat of government. So it's, it's very bad that a national seat of government things happen this way. But nevertheless, if it's reported to the minister and on time, and to the right authority, I think they're supposed to do something. I think that's the only thing. I think it's simple. Go back to the drawing board. Go back to the master plan. See what was originally done on ground. I think there is a, a deviation from the normal, and I think there's a deviation from what was expected to be on ground. And I think the, the human factor is actually playing out. The issue of uh, flood, people will say it's a natural disaster, but uh, when you look at it critically, Human error causes the most. For instance, each, uh, each a well planned uh, society, you have a master plan where the road should pass, where the water should pass. But with time, people of questionable character will flood that uh, plan and exceed and encroach on either the waterways or the road on its own. Government has a part to play, and we the citizen has a part to play. If you, I have been going some places, seeing the drainage. Like I said, that bottles, this um, takeaway park, like uh, Warimpa, stockpile, this, um, what do you call it, uh, bottle waters. You, you drink from your car, you throw. You drink from your car, you throw. They take away pack all those things, pack full in the gutter. Not, not government, not minister, not gov not yourself. We come and clean the drainage. You drink it, you take it, you see a dustbin, you drop it there. Government are trying their own part. FCT authority, without departmental control, ages or whoever locate the land, supposed to go for feasibility studies or uh, environmental impact. Say, this area is prone, but we can't even allocate it at the first instance. Is that not the right thing to be doing? If there is no deviation from what was supposed to be on ground, we won't see blockage of drainages. We won't see overflow of what the waterways. And I think if we uphold our environmental hygiene, it will go a long way to help us from such drainage. I believe the best government can do is to put policy in place that we check these SSEs. One, a law should be made to be, very, to be serious with in its enforcement. See, um, we say here, those people that are selling food, just take a very good example. Lift up those uh, uh, slabs. I check. The whole pack of what they have eaten there, they bought it, they take away, they are dumped there. So is it the government part? No. Let us try and maintain our own side. If 80% or 90% of us can keep this spirit, believe me, it will be okay. There are areas that government have already mapped out that this is water waste. People should not build on it. People should not should do that by showing they are rich. By going inside swamp, as I feel. Only the name I want to build house in uh, Abuja or Lagos. So government should do everything to curtail that. Government try the umpire to put some few things in place. We, the citizens, have to maintain that very thing. That's all. Ogwike Imano reporting live for the Sun TV.